There is a big boycott going about Genshin Impact. In fact, there's a change.org petition with over 80,000 signatures that is saying stop cultural appropriation and whitewashing in Miho Yo games. And if you look at this, this is probably one of the most <laughs> most retarded petitions I've seen in my life. Now I know how the Wokies feel when they see petitions for Stellar Blade and Assassin's Creed Shadows, right? Because, oh, we're so stupid with our grift. We're just crying about DEI. Well, this is the exact opposite. In fact, if I was to call anything a grift, this would be an absolute grift because this has DEI extortion scheme. In fact, if you want to put your tinfoil hat, I would say this has a conspiracy behind it where these people want to put Miho Yo into a corner and paint them as cultural appropriators, people that whitewash characters in video games. Yeah, this is about characters being too white in the game. Let that sink in for a second. The too long didn't read of this whole situation is there's a whole bunch of woke losers that are crying about characters in the game being whitewashed. And basically, they want to strong arm DEI and make changes about it. So, yeah, 80,000 signatures. Now, let's take a look at this. I'm also going to refer to a couple of articles from Smash JT's website as well as that park place. But let's look at this whole thing, why it was created. It says, we call on Miho Yo to stop cultural appropriation and whitewashing in their games and to commit to respectful and accurate representation of all cultures. MiHoYo, a leading game development company, has repeatedly taken inspiration from indigenous cultures without proper representation and respect. In particular, the many characters from Samuru and Natlan and Geshin Impact and from Pinakoni and Honkai Star Rail are all clearly white or only lightly tanned at best with the exception of some enemy NPCs, which has sparked concerns of racism among players and indigenous communities. So that should tell you right there, your characters are too white. They're too light-skinned. That's what Wokies are focused on. Now, I already know what a, what a Wokey or two might be trying to say here in a minute. They're going to mention the petition for Assassin's Creed Shadows, which is out now. And the reason why it was created by Japanese gamers is because they feel Ubisoft has disrespected Japanese culture. There's a major difference here, guys. Isn't it funny? How on this petition right here, they want to try to make changes and stop MiHoYo because characters are too white. Yet they say people are crying about Assassin's Creed Shadows because there's a black character as a protagonist in here. And it kind of funny the hypocrisy that comes from the woke side constantly. They've I've literally have seen people laughing and saying that a whole bunch of right wing grifters are crying about a black character being the lead in a game. And they conveniently leave out that it's a full country that feels disrespected because it's not historically accurate. It's not respectful to their culture. But the second that you start having fictional characters in an actual fictional world in a fictional game, if characters are too white, they get upset about it. Let that sink in how ridiculous the woke people are. They're crying over actual fictional stuff when Assassin's Creed Shadows takes place in a real country during a real historical time period and people from Japan are upset that it's not historically accurate. They're actually upset about real things, guys. Real historical accuracy. Real respect towards a country. And these people that are crying about Genshin Impact, are upset about cultural appropriation in a fictional game that takes place in a fictional world. Cry me a fucking river. So there's been a whole bunch of articles written about it. You could see Smash JT wrote something out today saying that basically it feels like it's an extortion scheme by DEI to try to force feed, I guess, a consultant group like a Sweet Baby Inc., for example, to come in and culturally fix this game, to make it less culturally appropriation and less whitewashed. That's essentially what it's going to be, or else they're going to try to cancel this game, so to speak, so that it's all planned, because there's a weird Twitter that has literally come out a day or two after this boycott 
that's literally pushing heavily this whole boycott Hoyoverse thing. This doesn't even look like a normal, actual human being or a gamer. Just, like, look at all the stuff. Say no to whitewashing in Hoyoverse games. Like, they want to call right-wingers extreme for being upset about actual history being inaccurate in Assassin's Creed, actual Japanese gamers feeling disrespected because there's a black protagonist cutting heads off of Japanese people. Meanwhile, we have a obviously unhinged left-wing grift here that is crying about whitewashing. To me, this sounds like a first-world problem over a fictional story. And they're pushing this. To me, this is just, again, like what Smash is saying, a DEI extortion, and even Hypnotic was saying this too, which we'll look at one of his tweets here in a little bit. So, this is nuts. <laughs> this whole thing right here is absolutely absurd with the lengths that they're trying to go to cry about this. And 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 get this, there's even voice actors from Genshin Impact pushing this whole woke agenda too. So, Jun Yoon is a voice actor who sent an email, and you can see he has his email posted here saying people to email their complaints, which, okay, I'm fine with people boycotting, voicing their opinions, voicing their criticisms towards a game. By all means, do it. Whether you're for it or against it, I'm I'm okay with this. What I'm com you know criticizing and I guess <laughs> giving my opinion on is how hypocritical and how stupid this boycott is. Oh, Eric, you're just a hypocrite. You're a right-wing grifter. They're crying about black characters. Well, if you saw the whole Thomas Lockley thing, he literally has created this fictional story of Yasuke, has edited Wikipedia's, Encyclopedia Britannica's, has done all this to gain advantage and to embellish on Yasuke's actual story, and Ubisoft used him as a site, as a source to cite. All being disrespectful to actual history. Meanwhile, this is based off of a fake fictional story for weebs. That's the fucking difference. So this gentleman, Jun Yoon, sent out an email to the team. Thanking them but saying, look, he even says it right here. I understand that the world of Tevat is fictional and that the nations and characters are informed by various real cultures that are mixed to create a fictional setting. With so much research and attention put into the characterization of each nation and their design, Natlin included, it's disheartening to see those efforts be drowned out by the greenlit character designs that doesn't respectfully portray the people and the deities of those cultures. Please consider redesigning the Natland characters with respect to the originating cultures, especially the skin colors of their characters and the names of these deities. Again, honestly, what this comes down to is they all hate white people. That's what it is. At its simplest, simplest definition, all these woke progressive people crying and boycotting Genshin Impact hate white people. If it was a darker skin color, they would be all for it. That's why they like Assassin's Creed Shadows, guys. Because it's a black protagonist. It's Yusuke being pushed to the top. It fits that woke agenda. They're only upset. We only have voice actors here upset because it's a white-washed issue. Isn't this how retarded that Wokies... Like, they literally hate anything white. This is where we've come to. <laughs> white man bad at the end of the day. That's how it's always been, and that's how it's always going to be with these progressives. They, they're they the first to see color all the time. You can see this tweet says, I really hope that a video game company listens to its fan base when valid criticism is made multiple years in a row about the execution of its research and inclusion of elements and aspects of other cultures. Meanwhile, these same types of people are upset that... Japanese gamers and right-wing grifters are upset about Assassin's Creed Shadows being culturally disrespectful. An actual country. An actual historical setting that people are legitimately and fairly pissed off about is a right-wing grift. But God forbid we have a fictional setting that is not what they want because it's too whitewashed. I swear to God these guys are all retarded. I swear to God, they're all fucking retarded. So you can see, here's another, I believe this is a voice actor as well, 
If a game draws so heavily from real world cultures and bases a character on the supreme deity of Yoruba religion, and that character ends up looking like a pale Sasuke Batman, people are absolutely within their rights to demand better representation, especially when said game has a clearly stated commitment to a global audience. I hope y'all keep in make voice of your I hope y'all keeping make your voices heard and I hope they listen. Meanwhile, they're laughing. They're saying, oh, look, we got a whole bunch of right-wing retards boycotting a game that's going to do good. I can't wait for the game to sell millions so they can all cry. Meanwhile, they're crying just because there's white characters. Do you guys not see the hypocrisy here? It, it's, it's absurd. And it's all because they hate white people. That's exactly what it is. The, it only matters for stuff to be culturally respectful and to bring indigenous people in to consult when it has to deal with white people, right? Never mind that Yasuke is a black protagonist in a game in Japan that is disrespectful because he's cutting people's heads off to hip-hop music, and it's not cultural appropriation with that, right? Because that leads to the side they want. Remember, it's only a grift if it's something that they don't like. Continuing on, you can see, if even your base audience, the Chinese fans, are asking for better representation or character with different shades of melanin, who are you making these characters for? Well, who are you making? Who is this modern audience that everything is being infected with DEI for? That's what I want to know. Like, these guys literally have zero self-awareness at all when it comes to their demands. It's only what they want. And you can see, uh, I think this is also another individual. I don't know if they're a voice actor or whatever. I just saw this tweet on one of the articles. Again, some of these uh, articles that I got were from the Park Place where they're talking about the voice actors accusing the game of racism and just because of these new characters that were introduced to it. It's all a bunch of retardedness, honestly. But you can see, you can see the virtue signaling. Uh, Valeria Rodriguez says, oh, by the way, Watermelon next to their name. Just like this account has a watermelon as well. Anybody that has a watermelon, I immediately just say, you know what? Your opinion's null and void. <laughs> Period. Uh, they say, I can stay quiet about this and protect myself, but us folks of color don't always need to stay quiet and let others fuck us over, disrespect us, so that we can continue to advance at half the pace of our white peers. Again, it's always about the white people. If you're going to use real-world deities, respect them. If you're basing off of real cultures, respect that. I'm fine with things being inspired by various cultures. That's awesome. Representation's dope, but bare minimum, do some research and show some cultural appreciation. Right? And they're talking about, I guess, real religions and stuff like that. How come How come these people are okay with Yusuke being Assassin's Creed Shadow's protagonist, but these people signing this petition are a whole bunch of grifters? I don't think these people understand. I don't think these people understand. And this is all Wokies. They, they like to point out how right-wingers are all idiots, right? That we can't think for ourselves. But at least we have awareness, right? <laughs> you see Allegra Clark says, It's just disappointing when parts of the world that are so seldom reflected in media could be portrayed accurately. I know this is inspired by as opposed to one-to-one -to -one depiction, but if you're drawn on specific sources, it would be so lovely to see it done the way it should be. There's so much beauty in the world, so many stories that can be told or drawn from, and when it's not done to its full extent, it ends up feeling disrespectful, even if that's the intent. I hope it's possible to make changes at this stage. So now you know how we feel with Assassin's Creed Shadows. <laughs> yeah, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you know how we feel? So Jenny says, it shouldn't be a radical desire to want to see yourself reflect in the medium you, you consume. I think that's narcissistic. Oh, I need to see myself reflected in everything that I watch. I need to see myself in it. To me, that's narcissistic. I'm sorry. Now, there was a bug fix that came out today. Genshin Impact posted a bug fix. A character, I guess, called New Villette got nerfed. They provided compensation with some gems, primo gems. They talked about how uh, there was an issue with the speed. These Wokies decided to use this to, to bitch and cry. So all the replies are all crying. Uh, so here's their tweet. And you can see, fix other issues. We got an early fix. You, I can't imagine how you guys sleep at night. Fix Nightland. It's not that hard. It's not even wrong. The fact that half the splash art is wider than me. So, yeah, you can see these people are taking this opportunity to push this woke crybaby shit. Instead of, I mean, okay, yeah, you got the right to free speech and to say whatever you want and criticize. But look at this. 
they're unhinged. They're taking this time to to call to call out and cry. <laughs> Why are they white, Hoyo? Look, they got a little cute hashtag going on. Not even a third of all users can even do this tack. Not on mobile, not on console. Less than 24 hours and you respond. Yet here we are. Here voice actors are. And you said nothing in almost a week. So they want Hoyo to address this whitewashing controversy. This first world problem. This hypocritical problem. So you do see the feedback and are choosing not to address Natland being whitewashed. You have an opportunity here to not only show that your community means something to you, but even bigger, showing that respect to culture and black and brown voices are important to listen to, not just to profit off by using their cultures. Actual insane behavior. So isn't it funny how they like to throw the racism victim oppression card when something's way too white? That's what I'm seeing here. They think this is colorism and orientalism. A fictional game. In a fictional setting. Look, I ain't reading all that. Fix your Natlin characters. And it's always these people with the little am anime avatars. Uh, pronouns in bio. Uh, they, they have no fucking concept of the real world. They just know whatever their political activism is that their teachers teach them. That's what it comes down to. Now, here is Hypnotic's banger. Uh, tweet about the situation and it's a little long he says conspiracy time I don't know if it's just me but I can't shake the feeling that we're witnessing yet another extortion attempt DEI consultancy groups like Sweet Baby Inc. have admitted to wanting to terrify marketing teams over the company want, uh, not wanting to hire DEI consultants they will literally threaten to do anything they can to ruin the image of a company that doesn't want to hire them all an attempt to get money to fix the problem that they personally create this recent petition against Genshin Impact screams this theory through and through. Just look at their demands. One, engage with indigenous cultural consultants. Two, revise existing content to ensure accurate representation. Three, commit to creating diverse and inclusive characters. The first demand screams to me, obviously coming from a consultancy group. Then a new account on Twitter pops up. This one that he's referring to. Right? This one that's obviously not a real gamer. That is trying to get the angry fans to retweet it and use it to help boycott Minonio. I can't even pronounce that. That same account then posts the picture below showing do's and don'ts during the boycott giving instructions. So here's the uh, instructions for the uh, the boycott right here. Boycott Hoyoverse. Do review bomb. Do like and retweet. Share post ever blah, blah, blah. Don't make additional purchases. So it's a do's and don'ts of how to boycott this. Same exact ones from the petition. <laughs> so basically he's saying something sus is going on here. And it seems that these firms are desperate to get the developers of Genshin Impact to hire them and make the game politically correct. So they're going to use all these people to organize like a campaign to smear it, call it insensitive, say that it's racist, that it culturally appropriates <laughs> everything in the book in order to strong arm and force all this here. So. Yeah. And you can see Magna Lawyer says this is the most beautiful display of double standards and unhinged behavior I've seen from a gaming website. And it's still funny. Same website. <laughs> and and the reason why I, this is why I was touching on Assassin's Creed Shadows, you can see down below. They made an article sassing everybody upset about Yasuke titled, hi, I'm an idiot who's mad about everything in video games except the layoffs. So downplaying it. All of this is right-wing grifters upset about everything but people getting fired. And then the same company puts Genshin Impact petition to stop cultural appropriation reaches 75,000 signatures. So, of course, they're not going to promote the boycott of Assassin's Creed Shadows because that petition, this one right here, doesn't work with their agenda or narrative at all. They won't even cover it like how I covered both. I talked about this one as well, even though I don't support it. You see, they won't, they won't do that. They won't look at all sides of it. They just push their narratives. They just push all their nonsense. This is the biggest first world problem I've seen in my life. It is so ridiculous that they would think that a game is whitewashing characters in a fictional setting and completely downplay everybody else's opinion and criticism of Assassin's Creed Shadows. This is why I don't fuck with DEI. This is why I don't talk to people that are overly wokey because there's no logic with them. There's no awareness. There's nothing except, oh, you're a grifter when it's outside their echo chamber.